Hey guys, Intuitive Investor from StockTwits. So I'm deciding to make this uh, this other video to so sort of uh, wrap this Citron versus Shopify saga. Um, it's a great day. It's a great day for a couple of different reasons. One is um, I'm probably going to go ahead and put all this behind me, seeing as that uh, Shopify has recuperated a great majority of the, of the losses. Uh, due to the allegations, the false allegations, the unfounded, unproven allegations by Andrew Left. Um, two, it's it's Wednesday, so it's sort of like in the middle of the week. Um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so uh, what more? Can, I mean, what more can I say? I mean, these are all great reasons um, for it being a good Wednesday. Um, but all BS aside, um, I went ahead and submitted a formal complaint with the SEC. Uh, this morning against Andrew Left uh, for stock manipulation. I think that we gave Andrew Left sufficient amount of time. Um, the allegations came out, what was that, October 4th? It's now um, November 22nd, 23rd, something like that. And he's the one that about 10 days after that initial allegation said that he had some type of extensive proof and, and whatnot and so that scared a lot of investors and as we know he's a short seller so there's a lot of short sellers out there who um, subscribe to his word and so they hear that and so they they kind of did what they were taught to do and that's just to listen to someone else and so that created a bear raid which is again a second illegal practice in the eyes of the SEC so the formal complaint is on those two um, things. One is for stock bashing, which is just manipulation, making unfounded accusations um, towards another stock, and then the bear raid. So everything's in the hands of the SEC. I provided them with all the details, facts, dates of information in which he made these allegations. Um, so hopefully someone at the SEC will look, really look into this. Um, because I want to also make it very abundant and clear. I do not have a problem with short sellers. I do not have a problem with someone um, who exposes a company of doing something wrong or illegal. I don't have a problem with any of that. What I do have a problem with is when someone makes an allegation without proof. That's when I have a problem because that's really an abuse of power. Andrew Leff is a well-known individual, and so his words do carry a lot of clout and a lot of power. And the idea that this guy can make an allegation without proof, short of stock, knowing that hundreds of thousands of others will probably do the same, without proof is really very manipulative. Had he have provided proof or facts, then I would have said, you know what? As much as it hurts to see that stock crash, I get it. He exposed the truth. But there is no truth. It was an allegation. You know, I thought that we lived in a country where everyone was proven innocent until guilty. But apparently, Andrew Leff lives by a different code. Well, not this time. And so I don't know if any of you did submit a formal complaint to the SEC but I just got really tired of people taking advantage of others. And so that's the reason why I submitted one. And if you didn't, fine. But if you haven't, you can. And you should. It's, it's very empowering, actually. So in the end, the truth does come out. Shopify has recovered. The numbers speak for themselves during Q3 when it was released. And at that point, I think Andrew Lev realized that he'd made a mistake. He thought that we were going to roll over just like the other companies have rolled over. Not this time. So I hope the SEC does the right thing and investigates his practices so that in the future, if a person wants to submit their own analysis about a company or wants to short sell a company, that they should provide numbers. They should provide facts. Not just go around making allegations and manipulating the stock like he did.